Okay, today we'll be looking at this Summit Extended Life Oil Filter, number SUM-127005. And you can get this at summitracing.com for $7.99 plus shipping. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a good uh, silicone, the nice pipe. Get your inner here. Filtration. Okay, let's take a look at her. Let's start with the box. Here's some of the filters that it replaces. Fram, K&N, AC Delco, Wix, Purelator, Motocraft. And if we look over here, we'll see a nice little picture. Coil spring. Metal core with holes. They say the can is 0.5 millimeters thick. 10,000 mile oil filter. 98%. And that's that. If you look down here, it says for particles less than 30 microns. On their website, it says for particles at 25 microns. So, I guess that's less than 30%, 30 microns. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's about it on this. Okay, let's open her up and see what she looks like. The date code? 19MY. J06-1416 Made in China Do we make anything anymore around here? Jeez It's a sticker They got this protective Plastic film over it Which is nice and This looks nice and clean Look at this Silicone gasket Which let's see yeah, it's on there pretty good. It's also a good thickness. Yeah, it's nice. Silicone anti drain back valve. Eight inlet holes. See a metal core with holes. And the bypass valve down below. It's got this uh, it's shiny, but it's like a powder coating, so it's easier to grip. It's a nice size filter. Got a little bit of weight to it. Well, I say we open this baby up and see what's inside. Yep, coil spring. Now let's get our weight. 415 grams. The base plate, 182 grams. Let's take a look at this base plate. It's got a nice amount of threads here. Nice uh, silicone gasket, so that's nice. Nice holes. Nice amount of holes. Yeah, the base plate's fine. And let's see, the anti drain back valve, silicone. This is nice, nice and shiny, huh? Fits right over this nicely. There's no movement here. Really side to side, hardly any. Covers the holes nicely. And a filter element. Let's get the weight. 115 grams. And it counted 70 pleats. Metal crimp seam. The pleats are nicely spaced together. Very clean. No excess glue. Metal end caps. And look at how shiny these are. Man, they look like they're chrome plated or something. <laughs> wow. And yeah, we got a bypass valve down here with a setting of 12 psi. Yeah, these are shiny. Nice and clean, shiny. Wow, if people only knew what they're putting in these oil filters. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice crimp seam. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see how it matches up with this. Oh yeah, there's no movement there side to side at all. It's nice. In the can, oh, you see in this action, we have the coil spring here. It's nice. Let's get our weight. 11 grams. In the can, 104 grams. Let's see if she's 0.5 millimeters. I didn't even check it. 
let's see. No, it can't be right. It's saying point four seven. I that can't be right. Yeah, that's more like it. Point five five. Point five five millimeters. That's what I'm getting. Maybe the paint on here. It's a little overspray, but not bad. It's clean can inside. Yeah. 0.4 to 0.5 millimeters is about average. So this is just above, just slightly above average. This, this is nice and clean. Love this, you know. It's too bad it's Chinese made, but. Wow. Well, you know what I say? Let's cut this baby open. It's 70 pleats. She should be pretty long. Yeah, this filters media is pretty tough. Yeah, I'm pressing on it pretty good. Tough stuff. All right, we'll stretch her out. We'll see how long she is. Be right back. Okay, here she is cut open. And she's a long one. A lot of filter media. She's 87 inches long. Right over the table. Okay, and here she is at the seam. I cut a little sample here. Get a measurement. 0.85 millimeters thick. And this is supposed to be a proprietary synthetic filter media. So they're not telling you what it is. But it's synthetic. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, it's pretty strong stuff. I mean, it will tear. But it's pretty strong this way. Yeah, it's nice. Nice filter media. The seam stayed together. You know, sometimes when you're cutting these, I need to get a newer blade for my hacksaw. I think uh, all the blades I got are dull. But, yeah, they, it rips them open. So, stayed... You know, it stays on there pretty good. Look at this. Yeah, it's nice. That's nice filter media. I like that. And there's a lot of it. It uh, comes out to like 200 square inches. A little over 200 square inches. It's pretty good. Let's look at the rest of the filter. Yeah, so you got your shiny end caps. <laughs> look at all the holes. A lot of holes. This is all smooth here. So, uh, that's good. I wonder if this comes, well, and you know what? I messed up because I forgot to measure this. It's, uh, I got it at 2.4 inches. Let's show you guys. Yeah, 2.40 inches. Forgot to measure it earlier. But yeah, this is all nice. Nice bypass valve. It's kind of small, but I'm sure it works okay. Coil spring. Silicone any drain back valve. It covers the holes nicely. Base plate's fine. Nice can. Nice box box is really nice <laughs> one of the better looking boxes if you ask me I wish it was made here in USA but what can I say more and more filters I've been opened up seem to be made in China kind of sucks folks well I think I'll wrap this video up so what do you guys think about this filter please post your comments down below don't forget oil filter Friday I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel so if you like this video 
please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and take care. Filter Media weighs 30 grams.